Hello everybody um, and welcome to my channel and also I guess I have to say welcome back to myself to my channel which is kind of weird but I haven't been uploading videos in like a year and a half I think and most of the videos I uploaded I actually deleted so I think I deleted over 20 something videos that I put up and the reason was I was not happy with them and they no longer represent who I am now so I was like clean start besides from four that I left up from way back way back before my hair was green um, and yeah I wanted to start this year with new videos and I wanted to make this a little bit more frequent than every year and a half which has been now so I wanted to start it off with uh, there is this one YouTuber, De Delina. Um, she kind of inspired me to make my own uh, hitting the pan kind of video, which she calls Project Pan. And I'm gonna call mine the same, Project Pan. And this is gonna be 20 products that I wanna use up until the end of the year. And if I manage to do that, then I will all add more products to use up and this is mostly makeup and some nail polishes I want to be over and done with forever so yeah I'm gonna show you in a little bit what I want to use up and I was thinking that this could be like maybe every month every month and a half I could update you on how it's going for me and in the meantime while I'm using these products I wanna really cut back on shopping when it comes to makeup products because obviously when I went through my makeup I do not use most of it and I don't know what's getting into me when I go there and I see the pretty packaging and I buy them anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the products that I'm gonna try and use up until the end of the year and fingers crossed for me. I'm gonna start off with a product that's been a pain in my ass really really bad product it's a hand cream from oriflame sweden uh, i don't know if you can see it says fairy city lights and it's 75 milliliters or 2.5 fluid ounces uh, it costed around 50 swedish crowns which could be translated into five us dollars or whatever and it smells really nice it makes your hands sparkle but that's all it does and my hands are really dry especially now during winter time I need something stronger and I found my holy grail hand cream and this is not it so I'm thinking maybe I save this for the summer and use it up but I've had this for a year and a half and I just want to be done with it so fingers crossed I get done with this really soon and then I got a bunch more products in my little silver kind of basket thingy and one of the products is also an oldie it's a blusher from glossy box their own brand uh, and it's called glossy rosewood and it looks like this it's really pretty uh, but i am i don't know i have a hard time like using dark blushers because I don't see the point of them and it's just I've had it for years I need to be done with it um have I have it on right now please help me fingers crossed this gets so I don't have to throw it away I really want to be done with it too next product I have is a lipstick it's from the brand called Babor I don't know and it's called Ultra Performance Lip Color in the color 30 Ice Rose and it looks like that, I don't know if you can see but the packaging is really pretty this is the brand and it kind of reminds me of Dior because of this little thing and this is what the lipstick looks like, it's really like a light pink kind of color I like it but the problem with this color is it doesn't stay on for long and it melts on your lips and it kind of gets all over around the lips area as well so I want to use it up I got it in my glossy box and I'm gonna try and use it up but I really don't like it 
Next product is a lip gloss. It's from Yves Rocher. I don't know how to pronounce that. But it's called Sexy Pulp Volume Gloss in Coral. Zero One Coral. I think that's what it says. It's a plumping lip gloss. And it's, it's the one I have on right now. It actually does not leave any color at all. But it smells good and I will try to use it up because I got a lot of lip glosses to get through. Next lip gloss I have is a from Oriflame Beauty. Uh, it's Gloss Booster in the flavor Toffee and it does actually both smell and taste like toffee. And as you can see it's like up to here or something. So I got a big way to go to use this up. Uh, and I'm tr gonna try to use more lip glosses, I really have to. Next product I have is a lip duo, uh, both a lip gloss and a uh, lipstick. And it's from Model Co. Uh, I, I, yeah, it says Dusk Lipstick and Striptease Lip Gloss. Um, lip duo. Um, I really like the lip gloss. It's pretty and I used up quite amount of it. Uh, it's a really pretty 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 color. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of sheer and just nude color. I like it shimmery. But the lipstick is brown. And I did not use it almost at all. I got it in my glossy box so it wasn't something I chose for myself. But yeah. Let me see if I can work this with something. Next thing is another lipstick and this one is from Oriflame Cosmetics as well and it is Fashion Mauve. It looks like this. The packaging is really 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 pretty. That's why I bought it. The second reason why I bought it is the color. I love the color. It's kind of a purple color. The thing with this lipstick is supposed to be three colors. The darkest one on the outside, then the lightest one, and the little light dot in the middle is supposed to be white. But this lipstick is also melting and every time I put it on my lips it doesn't stay there for long and it gets all around the, my face. Like eventually it ends up on my chin. It's just melting. But I will try to make it work and use it up while it's still kind of cold because I feel like this is a colder kind of color. The next thing I have is a 100% pure, 100% natural, uh, nourishing and soothing multi-purpose lip balm in Coco Rose from Fig, Figs and Roche. This is also an item I got in a glossy box and... It smells like roses and figs together and it's really nice but I don't think it, soothing and nourishing I don't know it's nice it gives a nice shimmer but this is not a lip balm in my opinion it doesn't make my lips feel like they're moisturized and um, so I'm gonna use this as a makeup item and I have another one of these that I got also in a glossy box so I need to use them up. The next product I have is another lip gloss that I want to use up and this one is from the studio. The studio is actually not a... It, they have their own uh, makeup brand but they are actually about like taking... Photographs and they're like a photo studio kind of thing. So that's why they call the studio and this is diamond color lip gloss uh, And it's basically really really shimmery really really pink um, And I used quite amount of it, but this is like I think Five years old. I don't even know if I should use this But I want to use it up because I don't think it's gotten bad um, I still feel like I could I can work with this I can. And it's this one here. It's really shimmery. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do my best and get through this video really really fast. And the next thing I have is a Clinique um, eyeshadow uh, in beige shimmer. I love this eyeshadow but it broke. So I'm gonna try and use it up and 
yeah you cannot see it it's just really really shimmery but I'm gonna try and use it up because it was really really expensive and the next thing in here is a the studio another the studio uh, product it's aqua jelly wet and dry dual usage powder cake in the color Y03 and it looks like this I did not use this one bit because I don't use powder so I'm gonna try to use powder now and because I'm pale I think the color will fit me then I have a what is this eyeshadow from Sephora golden girl number 50 and it looks like this really really shimmery goldish kind of color I really don't know when I'm gonna use this during like when it's not New Year's or whatever but I'm gonna try to use this up then I have a little mini palette which is a trio of eyeshadows from So Susan it doesn't say that anymore it's all wiped off but it's the brand is called So Susan and I got it in a glossy box and these are the colors Really natural, pretty colors. This should not be a problem for me to use up. So I'm hoping it won't be. And then I have another lip product. It's a Lush product. It started with a Kiss lip stain. Apple red and Kiss friendly lips. It looks like this. And once I get the top off, I barely started on it. And what's putting me off from this is the smell. It's really pretty color and everything, but the smell is just, it's not my cup of tea, so to say. I don't know how, what I was thinking when I bought it. Then I have another eye item, which is a e.l.f. Brightening Eyeliner in black. It looks like that and is so much left, so much. It's really creamy and nice, but it doesn't last for long. And I just don't like it. But I'm gonna try and use it. And another thing that I have here is uh, e.l.f. Brightening Eyeshadow. I don't know, like the text is all gone. But it's basically a silvery grey kind of colour. Um, you can see it there. It's good for like smoky eyes kind of effect, so I'm gonna try and use that up. It's not that old, only like a year or so, but still it needs to be done with. The next thing I have is four. The last four things are all nail polishes. I have two of these. And these are, I don't even know where they are from. I've had them for like, I want to say eight nine ten years maybe and this one is like gold shimmery and this one is like copper shimmery and they are both <sighs> really still good quality because they are still really liquidy and good to put on and I just painted my toenails with this one so I'm gonna try and use them up because they're really old but I'm thinking they're either really good quality or there is some really messed up stuff in this because they are still as good as they were when we bought them. And now we to the last two. They are both from Mavala. One is Aquamarine 154. Or, and the other one is Tropique. And they look like this. This one is like more of a baby blue. And this one is more of a soft green kind of color. Now these are still good. But they are so... I really don't like Mavala, just putting it out there. It's really bad quality, many layers. So I'm gonna try and use these up. And those were my products. Fingers crossed I use them up and I will keep you updated on how it's going for me. So thank you a lot for watching and stay posted. And fingers crossed for me. Thank you very much. Bye bye.